Hi Pisces, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and we're doing your reading. So let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. Also, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube, and thank you for supporting other tarot readers on YouTube as well. Sorry if you're picking up on that noise outside. Those are my neighbor's dogs. I keep on saying that, and I really apologize for it because I can't control my neighbor's dogs, alright? So please bear with me a little. We're currently at 5.9 thousand subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, really. From the bottom of my heart, I really want to say thank you for supporting me. All right. Pisces, the overall energy for your reading is the world card. All right. The lover's card. The high priestess. And then the moon. Four major arcanas. Four major arcanas. Straight off the bat. You have the Two of Pentacles. You could be needing to make a decision. Alright. The Four of Cups. And then the Seven of Cups. Brand new cycle. Alright. Brand new cycle. I'm getting someone who is so i don't want to sound very materialistic but someone who has really who's really wealthy all right someone who's let's just say established someone who's really worked hard for their money maybe has a high position in a very very big company someone who's very stable not just financially but also emotionally this is the person that's coming towards you or you could be stepping up you could be getting a higher position where you where the money or the pay is better it's just i'm really getting that everything is brand new for some reason there was a switch all right like a very quick switch that you did with regard to mindset You have the world card as your overall energy. No, this is not the ending of a cycle because you've ended that cycle. This is actually the beginning of a new one. You're ready. You could be traveling a lot because of work or you could be traveling because of a vacation. You need the vacation, all right? Uh, I'm, I see you actually really very bossed up lately. And of course... Even leaders, even bosses deserve like a really good vacation, a well-deserved vacation. Also, maybe because you're, we're about to step into Pisces season, all right? So birthday month, birthday season. That's why you're taking a vacation. I could be connecting to 
like an Aquarius Pisces cusp, all right? Take it how it resonates. But this is the beginning of a very good new cycle for you. You have the Lover's card as your overall energy to the Two of Pentacles, all right? Someone with a very deep soul connection, I'm really getting a past soul contract, all right? So this could be a soulmate or it could be a twin flame. Take it how it resonates. But someone has fallen in love with you. Really has fallen in love with you. But this is someone you've met very recently, maybe about two months ago. But they have fallen head over, head over heels for you. But I'm really getting that energy where you feel like they're not really serious. Because they're very playful and flirty. Little do you know that this person has fallen in love with you, Pisces. What did you do to this person? I mean, <laughs> they feel the connection very deeply, all right? They can't keep you off their mind. And the thing is, they just look very playful. But they're not they're really getting someone very serious with you. Maybe they showed you some sort of playful side. Maybe at first they were very open to telling you that they flirted with a lot of people they flirt with a lot of people but with you i'm really getting that they're very serious that they've fallen in love with you someone you met very recently well, again i'm i'm getting the last two months really so december january december or maybe last week of november Take it how it resonates. You have the High Priestess to the Four of Cups. All right. High Priestess to the Four of Cups. You know very much that this is a brand new cycle. For the last four months, you've been trying to be more logical on things all right your intuition is your power pisces if it's telling you something please do listen to it all right there are things that happen in our life that logic cannot just explain then and there all right there are things that our intuition is giving us and that is your superpower having a very good intuition. You're actually manifesting a lot of things. I'm actually seeing you manifesting things left and right. And for some reason, you still can't believe that things are manifesting for you. You're trying to be logical about it. How come this came in when I was just thinking about it. You're trying to find a more logical explanation of how your manifestations are, how the things that you want have been manifesting recently. The thing is, you should just listen to your intuition. I don't know who I'm connecting to. I could be connecting to a, diff to a lot of people in different aspects of this reading. 
all right? So please take it how it resonates. You have the moon card to the seven of cups. Again, it's about intuition. You know that someone Again, someone is choosing you. They could be flirty, all right? They show uh they they've shown themselves to you as someone who was very flirty and and playful with a lot of people, all right? But you know with all those stars, they choose you. They choose you. So you don't have to fear this connection. Don't be fearful about it. Listen to your intuition. Again, listen to your intuition. These are two intuition cards. Please do listen to your intuition. It won't leave you astray. Someone is choosing you. Someone has fallen in love with you. And they choose to be with you. Also, this you could be dealing with someone from a distance. All right? Someone, maybe someone from finance. Or someone who has a finance background. I don't know. I don't know who I'm connecting to. It's just I keep on seeing someone who is wealthy. And I keep on seeing money. All right, take it how it resonates, Pisces. Also, the world card could be someone from a distance, all right? Maybe that's why you feel that they're not serious or you're trying to be more logical about how can this happen? It's a long distance relationship. How will it work, all right? You're thinking that way. Oh, I love that reading. I love this reading. I mean, I love this reading. All right. You have the Queen of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and then the Star as your overall outcome. All right. Again, this is someone who finds you so attractive, so gorgeous. I'm really getting gorgeous, not just beautiful, but gorgeous, all right? This is someone who finds you very ambitious and driven and assertive, and they love that about you. They find it so sexy about you, all right? I love it. Uh, you have the Six of Pentacles. This is someone who will give you a lot of balance, will bring you a lot of balance. Why? Because this person finds balance in you as well. You balance out their life. You balance out their world. And then the star card. This is a miracle. This is a wish granted for you. All right? After a period of waiting, you see this coming in. You just have to listen to your intuition. Just listen to your intuition. It's a deep soul connection. Let's see the advice for you. The advice for you is the Queen of Pentacles, the Strength card, and then the Magician. Again, you can manifest anything you want with the Four of Cups. And believe it, all right? Believe that you can manifest it. You have the Strength card. You could have a Leo placement. But more so, Pisces, I'm getting you have to be more compassionate about yourself, with yourself. I don't know who I'm connecting to with regard to this card. You have to be more compassionate about yourself. And then you have the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> you 
you're going to be wealthy as well. I told you earlier that I saw someone very wealthy. And when it comes to someone who's wealthy with regard to the tarot, it's the king of pentacles, right? The king of pentacles. And this is the queen. The queen of pentacles. Your divine You're going to be very abundant and you're ready. You're ready to settle down. You're ready to make a home. You're ready to make that home. Male, female, not really gender specific. We're looking at the energies here, all right? So I could be connecting to a more feminine Pisces who the energy here is a feminine Pisces. All right. Other messages, please. You have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. All right. You have wisdom, a lot of wisdom, all right? That actually connects to the hanged man. The hanged man is about wisdom. Um, if you could see the fish and the mermaid here, so it's about fish, so Pisces. It's a very Pisces card. Very Pisces card, Piscean card, Piscean energy. You have purification, all right? They're highlighting to me the sunflower. Again, the queen of wands, all right? You have community. And then you have freedom. So, yep, that is all I have for you, Pisces. I hope something in this reading resonated. If it did, please do give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I love you all so much. I'll see you in the next reading and stay blessed.